Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome hoes and my name is Deja. On this channel, I focus on beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and bang that subscribe button. So y'all, I have not filled a makeup tutorial in a minute. I'm letting you know I really know how to still do makeup. So anyway, y'all want to hear what I have to say and see how I created this makeup look and the new products that I use. And if you want to hear my paint on them, then just keep on watching. Y'all, what is going on? I feel so weird, so different, so out of place because I'm um, in my new house and it's my first time recording a video since I've been here. So um, I have to fig that's refrigerator. I have to figure out, of course, the sound and everything, and you know, just get everything all laid out because. Yeah, this is trial and error, so I'm gonna create some a makeup look today. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the Juvia's Place I prep I prime I prime and this is the shade two. So when you work with me, work with your girl a little bit, okay? Like it's been a thousand years. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot to order. I hate when a product separates like that. Oh goodness. Okay, so I'll, I haven't really been buying makeup products, but I do have a few new products that I'm going to use today. So I'm going to use um, the Mandalorian from ColourPop to do my eyeshadow base today. Um, my eyeshadow base to, to do my eyeshadow. It is supposed to be raining, so if it starts thundering and stuff, it's not my fault. That's the Lord. So let's start off with Joy Pro Call. That's the dark brown that's in the palette. And I'm going to take and tap this throughout my crease. Y'all, so what's been going on? Like, I haven't been paying attention to latest makeup drops and everything. Like, I, I don't know, I've just been so busy with um, just getting this house, well, getting settled into this house. By the time I'm filming this video, I've been here for like a month and two weeks, and I'm still not done, you know, settling in. Now this house that I moved into is a three bedroom, one bed. Um, it's just me and Wilbur here, so there's plenty of space, but it's not. There is a bonus room, which I'm in most of the time, but I don't know how I feel about having company in the bonus room because it does get pretty warm out there. Like the air circulation is not the best in this house, I will say that. I'm gonna take the shade just like a tattoo. Oh, I don't know what you said. Actually, no, maybe I should go in with a little frog. That's this green right here. I don't know how this song turned out. This could be real ugly and muddy, but I'm gonna play with that shade. But, yeah, like, it's well insulated, but I guess just the way that they ran some of the duct work, like, my bedroom, the bonus room up front, which you can tell was previously a garage. And actually my beauty room that I'm in now don't get as cold as the room that I made the guest bedroom. Like that room gets really, really, really cold. So I've slept in there a few times because y'all know I like to be cold when I'm asleep. If you don't know that, I love to be cold when I'm asleep. I don't like being hot. You know, we gotta move around every few seconds. No standing just in one place. But I mean, it's a house. I have everything I need here, so I couldn't be happier. But do I plan on moving next year? Y'all know me. <laughs> Y'all know I don't stay put for too long at all, at all. I'm gonna take my base and I'm gonna, am I gonna cut the crease? I haven't cut a crease in ages. I don't know if I still know how to cut the dang on crease. Wait, let me see, let me see if I cut the crease, y'all. Okay, and I'm using my Empty, Empty, my Morphe M167 brush. Now that is new to my um, collection. I purchased it maybe about a month ago, a little over a month ago. And as y'all can see, I did not cut the crease all the way, but that's how I wanted it, so that's fine with me. 
Let me take a flat brush. I'm gonna take the shade Baby Face, which is like a mint green that's in the palette. And this is gonna be a shadow that I use on the outer part of the crease. Now I probably will go back in with Jewelry Protocol and put some more of that brown in the outer corner. And just work on blending those two together. Just so you guys, this house, um, so I told y'all three bedroom, one bath. That's the more formal living room, which I am still working on getting together. I have a vision for it, so it's coming along. I haven't showed off anything yet because nothing really is completed. So I'm really, I really am working on making an area that I want to be in, or just like a home that you're happy to come home to and be like, okay, yeah, this is actually my space. I want to be here. Like I will say now, I do like being home. Um, I'm home most of the time, pretty much. So just making it your retreat, well, my retreat. That's what I'm trying to do. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with that brown and just wash the skin. I barely tap my brush in there. I'm gonna take this Morphe. I don't know what kind of brush this is, but it looks like this. I've never used it before. I'm gonna take the, the Shimmer Right Hand Mando. I hope that it's this one here. I hope that when I put this on, it doesn't turn like yellow or anything. <coughs> I'm going to put this in the front. I don't care for it to be like too precise and only in the crease area, which seems a little crazy, but I'm gonna go ahead down to my waterline. I'm gonna add this NYX um, pencil. This is pure white, so I'm gonna add this to my waterline. I'm gonna just wash my face. I did not apply the moisturizer. I'm gonna take my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer and apply this all over. Look at y'all, I have a yard to maintain, but it's perfect for Wilbur because I can just let him off that. You know, run around, he runs around, he does his thing, but I can't let him out there alone because there is some poison ivy in the backyard and I don't want him getting it. So I gotta sit up there with him and watch him, of course. The boy is eight months now, he getting big. So I have a new concealer. This is the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer. Um, I picked this up when I was shopping for some brushes. And what shade is this? Rich 26. Now I do not think in any way, shape, or fashion that this is my shade. However, y'all, we know how to make stuff look good here. Yeah, that's definitely too late for me, but I'm gonna make it do what it do. And then my sister had given me a foundation. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury, oh, the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. So this is neutral 14. I'm gonna try this out. Like I said, my sister gave it to me. Um, it's too dark for her and I think it was too late for her to return it. So we shall see. My first time using it, so. I'm not even sure of the coverage of it or anything. Like, have y'all heard of this foundation? Let me know. All right, I'm gonna work on blending this in. I think that it's blending in actually pretty good and it looks like a really good match for me. I feel like this is light to medium coverage. I think that if I try to build it up though, um, I'm able to do so. I might apply just a little bit more just to test it out. Let me see. I still have some here on the back of my hand. Let me put it up here where my mold's at. Hit my mold pretty well. I can still see it. But I feel that it probably is buildable. I'm not really building it right now because, you know, Wilbur's only allowed so far into my beauty room because, y'all, the boy be farting and he stink. And then he be like getting into stuff. So. You know, you could only step like a few feet in my room. This concealer is pretty dang on bright, but I feel like I can fix it. Like I, I know I can fix it. We look real crazy right now. <laughs> I'm gonna take just a little bit of my Fenty Beauty concealer and warm things up a bit here. I need to get some more Fenty Beauty concealer because no ma'am, no pam, I'm running out and I don't like that. This is giving Latoya Jackson. I feel like this looks really scary right now, but bear with me. I feel like at the end, it's all gonna come together. 
Okay, so y'all, I've been using this powder, which I think is absolutely bomb. I probably have heard of him on TikTok. It's Style Channel Beauty. And like his powder is bomb. So bomb that I have it in another shade here in my drawer. And I just haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna use this powder to set my concealed areas. I might use it on my face, but y'all, I'm telling you, his powder is lit. Of course, I picked up these sponges from Amazon because TikTok and y'all friend Quisha made me do it. So while that's on, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my face. I'm gonna use my Color Rain Bronzer. This really shade Naughty Spice. This is gonna be okay, I already know it is. I can keep it. We of course are gonna take some of this bronzer down the bridge of our nose. Try to contour I am not the best at contouring. I not really have not given it any time or effort. Um, I just be doing what I'm doing. And usually when I'm done, it looks good. <laughs> But I feel like those out there who are by contour queens and whatnot, if you watch people like, girl, wait, ah, oh, they probably cringe and stuff watching if you know they do. <laughs> I think while that's going on, I did start using a new liner, and well, it's not new to the market, but it's new to me. It's a Schwein Black Liquid, um, liquid Eyeliner from The Palm. Felt tip, which I don't care for too much, but ever since they discontinued my NYX, Hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of blush. I'm gonna use MAC Raisin for my blush today. Y'all know it's like blush has really been making a comeback lately. Like the girls are just eating the blush up. I went kind of heavy on the blush just then, but why not? They all have bought these rhinestones from Amazon, you know, for your eye and whatnot. And have different colors and whatnot. They even have pearls in here. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna use, I think, I think I'm just gonna use the plain diamond looking rhinestones on my eyes. Of course, I cannot find my glue when I need it. Now we all know that this is not gonna stay. That's okay, it's not intended to stay on here very long. I just really felt like filming today, so. That's why I'm here. And y'all, when I'm in here filming, I have to use my ring lights because there is not much natural light that comes through these windows at all. Like, um, my neighbor's tree towers over. And, um, and then, like, right here is my covered back patio. So I have to use, I have to use my ring lights and whatnot when I'm filming. Which I'm used to, but it would be nice to have, you know, a natural light coming in so I can go with natural light from time to time, but it won't be happening here. I guess we're gonna do just two. I just want to put something on my face, just a little rattle down, you know. All right, so moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my lips. Now, y'all, I am very <laughs> upset because why does ColourPop, they no longer sell the BFF4 pencil. Yes, y'all, ColourPop has discontinued the BFF4 pencil. Now, that's upset me and my homegirl because this is like the perfect pencil for me. I looked on their site and I was not impressed with any of the other pencils that they had on there. I need to clean that up. Now, I'm just going to use some gloss. Y'all know I'm not a gloss kind of girl, but I'm going to use the Morphe Free Birds. And that's all I'm doing with this today. I use Spicy Mommy from Yana's Eyes. No, yeah, I'm gonna say definitely shout out to Yona's eyes because Spicy Mommy is my favorite lash. And at one point, I thought that she did away with them because I went back on her site to buy, you know, backup hair for my backup hair, backup hair. And it was not them. So recently, the earth compelled me, well, the universe compelled me to go check her site one more time. And sure enough, they were there. So I got me like five pair. So if y'all haven't checked her out, make sure y'all check out Yana's eyes and get y'all some leashes. 
She also sells makeup brushes and other accessories for your face, so check her out. So pretty, so bomb. Um, right song in the corner right there would be cute. I may or may not have it in there, so I'm just contemplating. So also I got the setting spray by Style Channel Beauty. Um he says 18 hours. Eight, this is an 18 hour setting spray. Hot sweetie makeup fixer. And it does have a fragrance, so if you don't like fragrances, that might not be for you. Okay, y'all, let me go get myself together real quick. Okay, you guys, I am back. So, let's talk about these products. First, let's talk about the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer. So, it says on Morphe, Hydrating and Nourishing is Radiant Concealer, Brightness Concealer, which helps a full range of skin tones. The form the formula goes on lightweight for medium coverage that conceals imperfections and dark circles. Plus, it's made to keep up with you thanks to sweat proof, trans resistant, and water resistant performance. This last pair with filter effect, soft focus foundation for the ultimate filter look. Now, I did not buy the foundation. Let me see something. Okay, it did not transfer. But I mean, I haven't gone anywhere and I just put the concealer on something. Take it as you will, but so far it's not transferring. Um, I do like the concealer. I do want to get it in my actual shade. I work with this, I blended it in, I, I, I know I can make it work. Um, I think it'll be really, really, really nice once I actually get it in my shade. So the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Medium Coverage Liquid Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. It retails for $44. Oh wait, hold on. That concealer that I got retails for $12. So the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation, $44. Um, let me see what they got to say. It says that this is a, it's a 16 hour natural glow foundation with beautiful medium coverage to hydrate, smooth, wear pores, and brighten skin. So as I stated when I was putting it on, I'm pretty sure you can build it up and you sure can build it up. Um, I actually like the foundation. I feel like it is a nice match for my skin. And y'all know I don't wear foundation down my neck, so my natural neck tone compared to the foundation on my face and I think that it looks really 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 nice. Um I probably would repurchase actually I want to see how it wears first and we'll go from there. AC just came on so sorry if it's a little bit loud but I really do like it. What else was in there? Um nothing compares to my old lip liner from me. I absolutely love that setting powder, and I have used the setting spray before from Style Channel Beauty, so I do think that it is worth the buy. I'll make sure I have everything listed, listed in the description box down below. Now, he has sold out multiple times, um, so as soon, as soon as I heard that he was restocking, I went ahead and got my hands on another one of his powders, which is this one here. Um, I want to use this mainly for underneath my eye and brightening, and I have not used it just yet. So stay tuned if you guys want to see me use that in the future. Uh, yeah, overall, I'm happy with how this look turned out. I had to do green on the eyes because my outfit, y'all can barely see it, is green. But yeah, I like where things turned out. Thank you guys for rocking with me. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one.